Look, Felix, it's a lucid. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. I apologize for being a ghost for a couple weeks. I'll at least try to make a video a week here and at least show you something that I'm doing. It starts to get repetitive after a while because I've got over 200 videos now, so life happens too. I got three kids if you've been following along. But today, I wanted to show you guys this. It's a ACR. I get questions about batteries and you know that kind of stuff quite a bit. And we're going to go to a 400C ray and put this in. And when we get there, I'll show you why we're doing it and what we're doing it for. Usually, you would do this to protect the start system, but we're going to actually protect the house batteries from the amplifiers in the boat. So let's just get to the boat. <laughs> Well, hey, welcome back. We're actually uh, in the cabin of the 400 right now. You can see there's already a lot of things torn apart in this boat, and you'll see it as we look at the boat here because they are putting in, I don't even know how many, 15 speakers maybe, maybe even more. So we'll look at that. There's a lot of wiring mess in the bills where we're going, which was kind of scoot out of the way, but I'm going to put the ACR in with some extra batteries. And I'll show you how to wire that and how to basically understand what the ACR is doing. So let's do it. Now, yeah, if you look right here, Tons of wiring, and you got three speakers here on each side. I think there's a sub, you can see the big sub there. There's another one right over here. I'm not even sure if they're adding more than that. But if we look down at our hole here, we have big power cable here, and you got a lot of speaker wires, is what it looks like. And that shelf right there, I'm gonna have to move this wiring out of the way, is where I'm gonna add two more. Two more batteries right there and put a ACR in so let me move all this way and then we'll we'll get down there and I'll kind of mock everything up and I'll show you what we're doing all right so I scooted our wires out of the way this is all audio cable right here running through the boat lots of sound it's gonna be super loud I'm sure so I put two trays down here because we're gonna put two 31 batteries in sorry for the lighting it's sunny and the noise there's a crane in the background hammering something in the ground so we got trays here Here's all of our other batteries right here. And if you look, this one, this one, this one, and one more from back there are all our house system. So it's got four big batteries to control everything in the house, and then your motor batteries are behind there. So I'm going to add two to the house side. So what happens basically is this ACR, I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount it yet, but probably somewhere on the wall here or something. That ACR is going to feed from our house side to our two batteries here and then our amplifiers are going to hook just to these batteries. So the batteries, I'll show you this too when we get it all finished, so the batteries basically are going to be isolated just for the amplifier so the amps will never draw off of these batteries. And what happens is when this thing senses these batteries being charged, which is like 13.2 or something, then it will overflow and it will allow this to open and cause these to start charging. So it won't kill your house, it'll just kill these first. So that way if he's out there cranking the stereo, he's not gonna kill all these batteries and have no house power. So let me get these in, I'll get my batteries in place, and we'll start wiring it up. All right, we got our batteries in here. The first thing I'm going to do is create some new wires from here to here and here to here to make this battery, these two batteries, into one battery. And then we're gonna mount our ACR probably right here on the wall so we can run it up to our fuse right here on the battery so we got any problems. We'll be able to run the power to this side because they're gonna be joined anyways. And luckily, we have a big ground block right here. So we can put our ground right to our, our main grounds that go to all the batteries anyway, so it's perfect. Let me show you something too. On the back of this, you have just single posts on each side. So you got power, power. I don't think it matters what order because it doesn't have any labeling on it. But right here, zoom in. You have a ground and a signal. We're not using the signal on this one because we don't have a start circuit to worry about because we have an amp circuit now, not a start circuit. So that one's not, not necessary. I'm focusing here. But our ground is necessary because if you have power, this relay is not going to work to switch if it doesn't have a ground. So we've got to run a ground to it, a little baby one, and a power from each side. So let me uh, get these wires made we got all of our cabling here. Let me back up. We got plenty of uh, heat shrink, all that fun stuff. Got all of our ends. Lots of big heat shrink. What I would recommend, and there's a couple ways you can do this, I am just going to cut it and crimp it really hard so it can't come off. 
but you can cut these basically and put them inside of our our connectors here and if you really wanted to you could solder them that helps protect them too but we always use the really good anchor marine heat shrink stuff which has got some kind of liquid or something inside of it when it melts and it seals everything off real well so this seemed to work I've used it for many many years no issues just make sure you get a really really good crimp on these when you crimp them down all right so let me get out of the hole it's kind of hot in here I'm gonna make some wires up I'll get them all connected and I'll show you the final product here okay an hour later after beating the hole here we're all wired up I'm gonna show you a few tricks here that I do you can take it how you want to but I have OCD when it comes to wiring and I like to push them towards each other just kind of makes it more uniform and instead of running it maybe just straight across here or straight across there I add more so it basically just kind of loops comes back around to this side so that if anything ever happens you can cut this say this corrodes off or whatever you can cut this and you got more wiring you don't have to actually have to uh, make a new wire or anything it's called a service loop basically you can do it with it. big wires small wires anything so you won't have an issue later on where you have to run new wire to something because you made it so tight so anyway this so that our grounds are connected then we have another ground here that comes down the battery over here like I was saying what I did was add this wire to our ground for our ACR it's all tied up then it runs all the way over, mounted the ACR, and it tied up, and then it comes back down. There's our ground. You should be able to see our little light here. You zoom in. Oh, I just seen it flash. We have flashes, so it says single flash, 15 seconds, standby. And when it's so solid on green, that means it's combining and charging. And then you got start isolation, which we're not going to be using. And triple is under voltage, under voltage, which means this is too dead basically for it to want to charge. So if these batteries are too low and you try to put charge onto these batteries and these are good and it tries to send it to these, it won't do it so that these batteries don't blow up or something could happen because if they're too dead, you could possibly damage the, the batteries or the charging system because they're not really made for that. And then if you look here, our other wire, follow the leader down and over, it goes right there. That's connected to our house side. So what will happen now is, I don't even have to run the boat because this thing has a charging system in it. I'm gonna go turn back on my battery chargers and this should come on. Once these things start charging, it should allow charge to come through here and charge our batteries. Another thing is too, there's nothing else connected to this. It's just gonna charge them for now. We have our main power leads right here, these blue and black cables. That's gonna be what the stereo system goes to. So those big wires are gonna be fused, linked to a, one of our batteries here since they're combined. So let's go turn, turn our charger on. All right, let's get out of our hole, make our way back into the cabin. Let's turn the shore power back on. On, on. Now we can go see if our isolator is working correctly. Make sure we got battery charger, battery charger. Okay, they're both on. All right, let's see if we get a light now. Look at that. Combined, it's good news. That means these guys are charging now. All right, let me climb my way out of the hole here. Got any questions about uh, any of this ACR stuff or batteries or switches or anything like that? Hit me up in the comments. I'll be happy to answer if I can. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. And I will see you next time. Later. Well, that's an old crane right there. Still running.